Anna and I went on holiday just the two for us to this Airbnb apartment in a calm neighbourhood. We were exploring the place, and it was cool. We liked it as the room was cosy and all. We unpacked our baggage, freshened up, and went outside to explore the areas. We went back at 11pm, and immediately we felt something odd. I can guarantee my life I left the living room's lights off. It was on. Okay, no worries. Anna was just telling me. Oh, you probably forgot or something. I brushed it off and did not talk about it or make it out as a big deal. At first I thought the owner possibly came in, but anyways. We went to the kitchen to make dinner while talking about Anna's deceased boyfriend and how much she misses him and all. Lee, her deceased boyfriend, he was a genuine nice guy. I have nothing bad to say about him. We had our dinner while watching The Conjuring. In bed, we kept hearing some loud banging at 2.30am from neighbours. It was really hard for us to have a good night's sleep because of the noises, but we managed to sleep anyways. Suddenly, Anna's phone starts ringing. Who's calling at this time? I said to Anna. I looked at her. She was pale like she saw a ghost, asked her what was wrong. She received a text from Lee, her deceased boyfriend, saying, I miss you. What kind of sick joke is that? Of course she tried to answer, asking who's this and why they're using Lee's phone. No answer. We kind of lost sleep. It was 4am, Anna was still spamming the number and calling and of course it went straight to the voicemail. I kept feeling some strange vibe like someone is watching us or something I didn't feel comfortable. Then she received another text. Help me, it's cold and dark down there. I honestly was shitting my pants. Anna on the other hand was furious that someone was playing with her emotions that way. And then, she kept receiving texts that only them know about, and some weird disturbing pictures. Got a phone call from him. She picked it up. She can only hear some sort of breathing, it was really, really weird. After that night, we kept having some unexplained things, like every time we go out and come back, we would find things misplaced, and things like, the lights on, or our stuff missing, and Lee's phone is on, all of these things were really disturbing for me.